so welcome back everyone. Got Mike here and plumber Jim, and he's cranking out some plumbing here. Got the uh, shower installed. What are you working on now here, Jim? So we're working on the drains and vents, and I was just explaining to Mike that the vents should have pitch all the way back, high point over here. Moisture is going to come down that pipe, whether it's rain, moisture from condensation from the pipes, warm water, and it all should pitch back and all fall back, not level up in a cold space in an attic where they can freeze, potentially freeze, but that's what we do. So we support them every four, four foot, and so there's no sagging in the pipe, and everything will drain down to this point right here where it belongs. That worked that good. So I was wondering what you're doing. He wanted some blocks, and I cut some blocks, and you have what, like... You just taper them down, right. and that's where you get your pitch and your fall. And Correct. Pretty slick. Shower went in well, and now you're working here in the bathroom. There's going to be a little vanity right over there, working on the drains for that, and uh, this vent pipe will go all the way up as well, right? Correct. And this little one ties into that. They all tie into this one. It'll be one penetration through the roof. Okay. Sounds good. It's a nice day to be inside because it's not nice outside. No. Sleet, mess. Yep. All right. To cut this down, we have a tool. It's an inside cutter. So you cut it down, you want to get it below, so you cut it down within the distance here. Put this tool in there. Cuts from the inside out. So. Always clockwise, don't go backwards, you break the wheel. Oh, ah, okay. The thin wheel cuts plastic. I saw how thin that was. It's very thin. How long have you had that? Forever. <laughs> got a lot of them. Every truck got one. I always wondered how that, like how you cut that. When you leave them up like that. And then when you still feel going through, stop. Okay? Okay. Get it out. Just go with a little tap. Beautiful. Clean cut. Got Boy, the, that is. Is your lid still here? Did I leave the lid? I have yeah. one in my truck. Yeah. Okay. Just pop the lid on. You clean that up. And you're done. Boy, that wheel is thin. Thin. So we're going to go do it to the toilet flange in the bathroom. Okay. So we need to get below. So I need to cut that plastic Lower below up. the concrete. All right? Yep. All right, so you're gonna do the toilet now. Yep. This part you have to pay attention to because when you start getting to the concrete, you got to stop. Right. Or you'll break the wheel. So you got to listen. Voila. That is pretty slick. Now, this is finished floor right here. Right. So, what's the difference between if it was wood with space for tile and everything? If there was tile going on top of there, this would be perfect on this finished floor. So, I'd like to get it a little bit lower than this. So, what I'm going to do, and the thing about the beauty is this three inch hub fits in four inch pipe as a fitting. Mm -hmm. So you, I can glue this in there, and it's yeah. you don't have to be on the outside of the pipe. Right. And you put in a standard flange in, so it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little circle here. I'm going to get my grinder out. 
I'm gonna knock these high edges off the concrete and everything. And get, sure. it, get it flush. <coughs> Next to the toilet, we probably have that much. Right. Over here, you know? So typically people insert these flanges this way for flexibility. When in reality, you don't need flexibility. If you measure the same distance here and put this parallel, you'll have it. This flange is 100 times stronger this way than here. It'll crack here. If you have an uneven floor and there's any kind of movement on the toilet, it will crack the flange. You will not crack the flange here. I got it. Okay. Yeah. So you just measure off the wall and then you know it's the hardest good. part is getting the bolts in. Sometimes you have to chisel the tile. Yeah. In this case, we don't. To slide in here it's made for bolts right it's designed for bolts it's just i don't know why people don't use them yep yeah. good save yeah no dark it's beautiful I'm going to put a little dab of, just a dab of glue on this to... I can see how important it is to get the uh, plumbing in before the wiring for sure, huh? Yeah. Thank you. I'm admiring uh, Jim's level here. It's lighted. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So what we got here, uh, over there we're going to put, well, you're going to put a hook up for a washer and dryer. We're not necessarily sure we're going to put one in. Yeah. But that'll be over there. Wash laundry sink tank. right here, laundry sink. And then this is the vent that's going to go up, over, like we talked about earlier, and tie into that three inch over there. What do you think? I like it. I like it. I love it. All right, so what all did we get done here this morning? We got the DWB drain waste and vents done. Okay. We got the three inch stack ready to go through the roof whenever the weather allows us. We'll, we'll drill a hole and put a flashing on there. And we'll put a uh, washer hookup box whenever I come back. I didn't bring one today. And we'll start the water lines. Half inch L copper pipe. Copper pipe. Copper We're going pipe. old school with this pipe. The best of the best. <laughs> yeah. So uh I like copper. Yeah, I do too. So uh, yeah. should be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so the water line, it's gonna come in from right there. And we're gonna put what an outside spigot somewhere on that wall and, and over there. And over in that we'll wall. Shut off place where you can get to them either in an access panel or somewhere strategic right that you can shut in a cabinet or something like that we'll, we'll make it so you can do that i'll tell you you work fast very fast and good thank you it's impressive i had a good helper today by the oh, way yeah i didn't yell one time again no that's two times three times in a row yeah yeah have, it haven't great, yelled. It great. relaxing again you know it was a crappy day outside it's the best place to be inside yeah. and temperature was it wasn't even cold today. Uh-uh. No. It's going to get cold. Yeah, we took the edge off with the heater, and it was... Uh, yeah. It's looking good, though. Yep. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Coming right along. Well, thanks, Jim. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's now uh, Saturday evening. I'm just going around here uh, nailing and screwing in some studs. There are a few places 
where we had to cut them off, you know, cut the nails off to feed the pipe through. So I'm just making sure I take care of all those right now or I'll forget. But I tell you what, Jim did a uh, fantastic job. Man, it's so nice seeing somebody that good at what they do and just watching them do their thing. You can see here, vent pipe goes all the way over to here, ties into that three inch up there. Got all the drains for the sink and the vanity. Toilets ready to go, showers in. And uh, next weekend we will start running the water lines. Also, some people are asking about the uh, wood stove. It's gonna go right here. And we made a change on that. I was gonna get the uh, Regency Pro Series, the 3500, but this one is gonna take a while to get. So we stepped up to the 5200, the extra large wood stove. This will put out a lot of heat right here. And I was talking to the uh, heating guy. I'll introduce you to him when they install it. We'll do a whole video on that. Uh, we may even put some fans somewhere to kind of blow into the garage as well. That's a pretty big wood stove. You know, we do have radiant floor heat, but that boiler to heat that is gonna be propane. And with the price of propane, I wanted to make sure I have a big enough wood stove as well. So I don't think we're gonna have any problems heating this place. And we also have a uh, air conditioning coming for the game room as well. So should be really nice. I'm actually getting pretty excited about the building. Not that I wasn't before, but I can kind of start to see the end in sight now. Things are starting to come together. Everything just takes time and you have other things going on and you're waiting for this and you can't do that until this is done. And it's just a whole process, but uh, things are definitely coming together and I'm getting really excited about it. But anyway, things went well today. I think we will wrap this video up with some uh, more tractor pictures. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.